Good morning, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Rich again, back with your first video blog of Sunday, July 13, 2014, around 8.25 in Bell Arca, Massachusetts. It's going to be a night, another nice and sunny day with temperatures in the 80s and the humidity creeping up a little bit. Get, get out and enjoy this day, everybody, because the next four days are going to be a lot of hazy, hot, and humid with a lot of thunder showers. Locally, some of them could be severe. Some sports news to report. The Washington Wizards signed Paul Pierce to a two-year contract with $11 million. And also Argentina against Germany in the finals of the World Cup today. And today's the last games of Major League Baseball until they go on the All-Star break, which will be four days. And that's about it for the news. And my first subject of the day is about a heel turn in the WWE that happened in 1991 that involved Jake the Snake Roberts and the Ultimate Warrior. This, this heel turn started on the funeral parlor with Paul Bella where, and Jake the Snake Roberts was his guest and um, Paul Bell was mentioning about the Ultimate Warrior's Undertaker feud, and then uh, Jake the Snake was saying, I could teach the ultimate warrior the dark side about the Undertaker, and the fans were cheering and stuff. And, you know, the next, and he started to do these, like, f with Jake the Snake and the ultimate warrior, teaching him the stuff about fighting the Undertaker's dark side. The first video skit happened with, like, the Undertaker, I mean, uh, the Ultimate Warrior digging up a cemetery, and Jake the Snake was there trying to. F he was trying to face his fear of the Undertaker, and then the next week, the next skit was the Ultimate Warrior in a casket, and Jake the Snake locking it up, and that he continued to test and test him so he could fight the fear of the Undertaker. And Jake the Snake says, "You're not ready. You have one more thing. I have to." do to you and he says trust me trust me trust me the third and final skit was the Jake the Snake Roberts locking the ultimate warrior in a in a snake pit with so many of the snakes and the ultimate warrior was a little bit terrified of snakes and snakes he says get go and get Lucifer about the question of the Undertaker and then when this King Cobra snake comes out it kind of bit the ultimate warrior and then Jake the Snake was kind of la laughing and he was the warrior was trying to get out of it and it says fall warrior fall warrior fall and this was a great heel turn and then the ultimate warrior falls and then Jake the Snake sees the Undertaker and says oh the man in black let's see how the work is done and then the warrior the door opens, the warrior crawls out, and then he grabs the Undertaker's boots, but the Undertaker was, sh sh you know, kind of doing this, and Paul Weller is shaking his head. And then the warrior tries to help, tries to get Jake the Snake, hey, hey, go ahead, reach out for me. I'm a snake. Never trust a snake. That heel turn was perfectly executed by... Jake the Snake Roberts, who at that time was one of the WWE's most popular superstars. And the heel turn was pretty amazing. Awesome. And also, you know, I thought this heel turn was great. But, you know, maybe it came a little too soon because in 1991, Jake the Snake Roberts was over as a babyface. In fact, he had like two major angles in 1991 which the fans were behind him. He had a feud with Rick the Model Martel, which stemmed from the Brother Love shows in like October of 1990 when Rick the Model Martel blinded Jake the Snake Roberts with the perfume arrogance. And it was a very great feud. They showed skits of like Jake the Snake kind of losing his eye, but it was actually a contact lens that looked like no eyeball and this feud was culminated in Wrestlemania 7 in a blindfold match where, between him and Rick the Model Martel which Jake the Snake won, oops, Roberts won and the fans were cheering and also Jake was in the middle of the of a feud with 
the mighty earthquake when Jake the Snake turned heel, but and Jake the Snake's um, pet snake Damien was squashed by earthquake after on an episode of Superstars of Wrestling, Jake um, earthquake put Jake the Snake in the ropes and tied him up on the ropes, and the referee was tied up, being tied up by Earthquake's manager, the mouth of the South Jimmy Hart, and Earthquake delivered two Earthquake sit-down splashes to Damien, killing him. And that was one of a great angle, but it did not have a blow-off feel because in the middle of that field, Earthquake was, was like joining forces with Tugboat, who became Typhoon, and they became the Natural Disasters tag team, and they went into the WWE tag team rank, so that blow-off with Jake the Snake never happened. And it, Jake the Snake's a great heel, and, you know, I thought the heel turn was very, very executed, very good, but, you know, I th thought it was a little too soon because Jake was still over as a baby face. And also, afterwards, after, like, Jake the Snake was scheduled to feud with the Ultimate Warrior, but the Ultimate Warrior bolted from the WWE, and it cost a lot of big money feel for Jake the Snake Roberts, but Jake the Snake became, like, a monster heel, like a sinister heel with the King Cobra. He feuded with Sid J Justice, but once Sid Justice got hurt, he feuded with the Macho Man Randy Savage and one of the, one of the skits on Super Social Wrestling, the King Cobra, bit like the Macho Man's arm. The snake was the vem the man advised and it was like kind of gruesome and stuff. It was very shocking. It was one of the th shocking things on WWE television up to that date. And then when they had um like they had like uh, several of the officials and a couple of the wrestlers come down and they had to put this um Macho Man on the stretcher, and then Vince McMahon announcing says, Jake the Snake Roberts, he's sick. He, he was almost crying. He was on the announcing. He was almost crying because of this stuff. And also, on a WWE play preview in late 1991, Macho Man faced Jake the Snake Roberts in a match, and Macho Man won, but, like, Jake was continuing to beat him up, beat him up, and then Randy's Macho Man Savage's wife at the time, Mr. Lovers, comes down and pleads Jake the Snake not to do anything more, but Jake the Snake says, said to Elizabeth, he makes me sick, and then Jake the Snake grabs Miss Elizabeth by the hair and gives, us, gives her a slap, which is, you never saw that on WWE television at all, um, like a uh, wrestler striking a woman, and it just got Jake the Snake as a monster and sadistic heel. And again, you know, he, this feud continued until they had a blow off on several house shows with steel cages. Then The Undertaker, last match in the WWE was against J the, with The Undertaker at WrestleMania 8. And I heard Jake the Snake was promised like a head writing role position for the WWE when Pat Patterson left around 1992, early 1992, but Vince McMahon said to Jake the Snake, Robert, that position out of respect with Pat Patterson's not going to be filled. Jake the Snake was very mad because he, he was actually writing for the WWE at the time with this, like some of the stuff, and then he threatened a no-show WrestleMania, and then The Undertaker beat Jake the Snake, and Jake the Snake, Roberts left the WWE. In 1992, and you know, I thought this heel turn was one of the best. But Jake the Snake, they should have done it later on in the year because he was still over as a face. You know, he was still over pretty good as a face, and it was kind of you know sucks that Jake the Snake did not have a big money feel with the Ultimate Warrior after this because the Warrior left. Well, I'll be back later on with another one of these video blogs. Have a good day, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. Okay, bye.